Yo, what is good people and welcome back to my channel. Now as this is the first video I've released since I've hit the 1k, I really cannot start without saying thank you to all that have liked my content and been subbing to my channel. And a sincere big up tiger to a certain somebody. Now, on with the video and this is a place I've been to quite a few occasions now, but each time I go back I seem to find something else and today's video is no different. Now like many of the places I've visited it all starts with an innocent walk in the countryside but in no time at all signs of sandstone popping up everywhere but it's not the usual like in previous videos. Uh, it's what I can only describe as like a slab like in appearance and it looks like it's some sort of wall. As you can see from this, it's not exactly uh, too thick. Uh, then we come across what's quickly becoming a normal feature I'm finding. Well, a bridge of sorts made from sandstone blocks, or is it? So just imagine this bridge in its prime, built by those not so intelligent ancestors, with less than adequate tools. And over time, whilst tech has improved, we are met with this horrible brick patchwork and we'll ignore this concrete monstrosity whilst we're here shall we so let's carry on and this sign made me laugh more than it should have but i can't help but imagine wildlife walking up to this sign seeing only their kind being allowed in there and yeah let's just move on before the wildlife know we're onto them and they can read <laughs> uh, so here's another bridge um just like the one before Nah, it looks newer and as you can see, not very nice looking either. Now I assure you we're almost there, I just want to give you an idea, like paint a picture if you will, of the area that I'm in at the moment. So let's follow the leader, four years old and her stamina is silly, like I say, she's with me most of the times and walks even further on those tiny legs. And as long as we see something like what's coming up, she's usually a happy bunny. Now this is the first signs of what I'm showing you today. And as you can see, the usual scenery, so you know there's something here. Right? Well, follow me and let's find out. And the normal sight of a fence to keep people away. So let's see how I manage to scale this one. Did I get you for a second there? I did, didn't I? So, as you can see, just a hole in the wall, right? But, let's look a little closer. What appears to me straight away, this was added afterwards. This picture, I hope, shows it. It's almost as if the right side was there before, and there's like a, a black colouring all over it, whereas the left one looks quite fresh. But, what do you guys think? Now, here what appears to be join marks in the stone and this was a gap in the roof hopefully again showing the old and the new again let me know what you think where that slit is looks like where the join is and again also signs of concrete like layers in between this one I was concentrating on the tree but when I reviewed the footage I noticed the rock face in a lot more detail. Now the cave, although small in appearance, it felt like it was just a small section, just like every other place I've been to. So I carried on searching, hoping to find more, which took me to the top. And there I am up there. And this here as well. Let's just watch it, shall we? So you'll see. I'm picking just <laughs> I'm picking at the rock whatever you want to call it the sandstone and yeah it's crumbling but it's also coming away in layers I mean I don't really know what else to say about that so 
so I'm just gonna let the footage run through and you guys can make up your own minds from the footage here but yeah as you can see it is literally coming away in layers I'm just watching it now and I'm I'm still pretty much at a loss what to say it was just layer after layer anyway if I wasn't quite shocked enough by this little discovery of mine I turned around and found this and I can only describe it as a waterway but if you think it's something different let me know in the comments but my mind can't fathom much else seeing as it's on top of this structure again our dumb ancestors having the brain power to uh, collect water but again that's just here saying it and anyway I, I finally got up to the top unscathed on my head because it was quite slippery so I'm surprised I actually got up the way that I got up and I did continue I, I was met with as you can see a sandstone ridge but I walked all the way across this <laughs> and come across some stairs so there's an important lesson for you all do proper thorough research before you go to these places and then you might actually find an easier way up now if you haven't noticed already let me point out yet another thing do you see it wait what's that sandstone mostly covered with earth surely not not another place like this surely not now that cave opening is the only thing left near the top of what looks like a 50, 50 to 60 foot buried structure, I, I don't know. But it's all pushed up to the side yet again. Now this further proves what I've been saying in my previous videos about the earth. But it just begs the question, how did it get there? Where did it come from? And what's actually hiding under these things? I am determined to find out, so stay tuned. Now, before I go, just a little sneak into a big project I've got in the pipeline. Now, this isn't something you're going to be seeing anytime soon, as I'm slowly building up a portfolio, and I want to try and release it all in one video. But I thought I'd still give you a little... Sh I still thought I'd show you, because it sort of shows you what you can come across while you're out and about looking for one thing and finding several of us. I've been Nicky B, and until next time.